want to share a story with you. This is a story of one of the Imams of Hadith from the second century. His name was Malik ibn Dinar. Malik ibn Dinar, he writes his own story. He says, I was a young man of 19 years old and I used to commit every single sin possible. I used to drink, I used to steal, I used to kill, I used to commit zina, any sin that you can think of, I used to commit it. And one day, while I was walking on the streets, I came across a beautiful young girl, no older than five years old. When I saw her, something happened to my heart. Something told me that it was time to change my ways. So I went home and I prayed. I said, Oh Allah, what is this feeling? What is happening to me? So I decided that at that time I would start to change my ways. I decided to get married. Lo and behold, nine months later, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants me a beautiful young girl named Fatima. Fatima became the coolness of my eyes and the warmth of my heart. I used to love her, I used to play with her, I used to take care of her. And one day, while I was sitting on the chair, I was about to take a drink of alcohol. She came and sat in my lap like she used to do. And she started to play with my beer. And as I was about to take a sip, she hit my hand and the glass went flying away. I thought to myself at that time, had it been anyone other than Fatima, I would have struck their neck. But Allah had placed so much love and mercy in my heart for her that I couldn't do anything except for embrace her and kiss her. And that was the day that I stopped drinking. Time goes on. I'm becoming a better individual. I'm changing my ways. And along this journey, Fatima is becoming more beloved and more dear to me. Fatima now turns five years old. She reminds me of that beautiful young girl that I saw on that street that helped me change my ways. But at that time, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tried me with a trial so great, it was as if no one on the planet had been tried with such a trial before. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took Fatima away from me. She died. I went into depression, I became sad. I didn't know what to do. So I started to drink again in hopes that the pain would go away. I used to drink and I used to drink and I used to drink. In the nighttime I would drink so that I could pass out during the day. And during the day I would drink so that I could pass out during the night. And one day when I passed out during the day, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showed me a vision. The day of judgment had begun. And as I arose, other people arose as well. And there was chaos everywhere. People were running, yet I had no idea what they were running to or what they were running from. And as I started to run with the people, I noticed that I was the only individual that had a giant black snake right behind him. The more I ran, the quicker I ran, the quicker the snake came. So I ran and I ran and I ran until I came to the foot of a mountain. And I saw this old man with a beautiful white beard and beautiful white hair and beautiful white clothes. But he was very old. So I asked him, old man, for the sake of Allah, please help me against this snake. The old man replied, I am too weak and I am too feeble. Perhaps if you go on top of the mountain, you'll find someone to help you. So I went to the top of the mountain, I ran and I ran, and the snake is just behind me. And as I get to the top of the mountain, I look over the valleys and I see the hellfire. People being burned, people being punished, people being persecuted. And I knew it wasn't what I wanted. I didn't want to be there. So I ran back down to the mountain. And I see the old man again and I scream at him again, Old man, for the sake of Allah, please help me. And the old man again replies, I am too weak. I am too feeble. Why don't you run towards the hills? Perhaps you will find someone to help you. So I started running again. I run towards this greenery that I know it doesn't belong there. And as I'm getting closer, I'm starting to hear the playing of children, but I can't make out what they're saying. And as I get closer, I start to make out the words. The children are saying, Oh Fatima, go and help your father. Oh Fatima, go and help your father. I think to myself, could it be Fatima, my own beloved daughter, the one that had passed away? And as I get closer, 
the silhouette of her shape starts to become more clear. And I can make out that it is actually Fatima. And her arms are wide open, waiting for me to come and embrace her. And I get closer, and Fatima takes me in. With her right hand, she embraces me, and with the left hand, she pushes the snake away. At that time, I couldn't make sense of what was going on. Where had I come? What was happening? So I asked her, Oh Fatima, what is happening? What is this place? She said, Oh my father, come and sit. And we sat down under a tree. And she came and sat in my lap. And she started to play with my beard, just like she used to do in the dunya. So I asked her, Oh Fatima, please explain to me what is happening. She says, Oh my father, this is the day of judgment. That black snake that you saw, those were your evil deeds. They had become so many, they had become so strong, that if it hadn't been for me, they would have destroyed you today. That old man that you saw in the white clothing with the white beard, with the light on his face, those were your good deeds. They had become so few and so little that they would be no avail to you today. O oh my father, has it not come time for you to change your ways? She recited a verse from the Quran. She said, Alam amanu an That has the time not come for the hearts of the believers to be moved by the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. At that time, Malik ibn Dinar, he woke up. He wakes up and he hears the adhan of Maghrib going off. He makes wudu and he hurries to the masjid. And as the salah begins, he hears the imam reciting again. Alam ya'ni lil-ladhina amanu an-takhsha' qulubuhum li-dhikri allahi wa ma nazala min al-haq. وَلَا يَكُونُوا كَالَّذِينَ أُوتُوا الْكِتَابَ مِنْ قَبْلِ فَطَالَ عَلَيْهِمُ الْأَمَدُ فَقَسَتْ قُلُوبُهُمْ وَكَثِيرٌ مِّنْهُمْ فَاسِقُونَ That has the time not come for the hearts of the believers to be moved by the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Malik ibn Dinar, he prayed his salah and he knew that a new life for him was about to begin. And that is what he decided to do. And I want you to think the story of Malik ibn Dinar has many, many other stories of what a great individual he became. One of the leaders of the tabi'een of his time. But how did this individual get to such a state? Every individual has a turning point in their lives where they can become better people or they can become worse people. A conscious decision of which way you want to go, towards Jannah or towards the Nar. 